So you can show your task, show your timesheet, show your calendar, and show your personal status. So here's the personal status. You can from here quickly add a task, event, or milestone. I'm hardly ever in this calendar view because even though it's nice to have these hyperlinks here so I can quickly get to the task, I have synced this with my calendar. You can sync this calendar with any calendar you use. I use Microsoft Outlook. All these tasks show up in my Microsoft Outlook calendar and forward to my Windows phone. And this is where I spend most of my time. And I don't have to spend much time at all in Liquid Planner because really I don't want to be here. I want to be in the applications doing the work that I need to do that's going to get me done. So from here, it's quick. Start your timer on your task or pause it or enter in dates into the timesheet just manually here. You can scroll through these weeks. This highlight lets you know that today is today. Um, you can customize these activities. So as a grad student, I am note-taking, organizing, outlining, constantly doing different activities. Um, you can list the task being done. Really, for me, in the My Workspace, the timesheet, that's really my go-to place. It helps me to just get in to the planner, start recording, and get out. So here's really the neat gist of it. Once you start really getting an accurate sense of how long these tasks are taking, then you can plan better. And not only can you manually plan better, but Liquid Planner is going to go ahead and update the schedule for you anyway. It's going to update the calendar for you anyway. So I highly recommend Liquid Planner. Like I said, one hour to watch the videos and kind of explore, another one and a half hours to get all my projects and folders and subfolders in get set up and that's that's basically it so in liquid planner I can put in my project I can put in folders and subfolders and tasks and there you have it very realistic constantly updating reverse calendar in the form of a gantt chart with time estimates so here we are there's a 10% chance that I'll finish this task on March the 5th. There's a 98% chance that I'll be finished by March the 7th. You can't really beat it. All right, well, that's my review. Happy thesising, happy dissertationing, or happy whatever it is that you happen to be doing at the moment. If you have any questions, please go to their website, or feel free to email me at my blog, theblossomingfledglingresearcher.wordpress.com and I'll answer any questions that I can about it. Um, I applied for an education application in order to obtain the planner. You might do that if you are student or faculty. All right, take care. Blessings.